Hey guys, I'm Jopal and welcome back to Rivals Basics. Today we're going to cover the raw basics of the game. Basically, what you came here for. Without further delay, let's jump into it. First we'll go over your controls. Each player uses a unique controller, some use GameCube, others Xbox One, and there are still some people that use a PS1 controller. But regardless of your controller choice, it's the bindings that matter the most. The attack button is your button for light attacks normally referred to as jabs and tilts. Holding no direction and pressing attack gives you a jab. Most characters have a jab combo if you press this multiple times. Hold the movement stick to one direction to do a tilt. This can be up, down or sideways, giving up tilt, down tilt and forward tilt respectively. You can also cancel your jab into a tilt by doing jab 1 or 2 and then using a tilt. This gives minimal end lag in your jab. Eliana is special in this regard however. The strong button does what it says right there, strong attacks. Commonly referred to as smash attacks and what we will be calling them from now on. There is no neutral smash at all, only up smash, down smash and forward smash. Most of these differ between characters, Eliana will shoot smoke, but Forspin will use escape. Each character is very different in this game. Areas are essential as well, by the existence of these moves you may have realized that tilts, jabs and smashes can't be done in the air. Instead you do areas. There are 5 areas, up air, down air, forward air, back air and neutral air. You cannot change direction while mid air without certain moves, which is why back air exists. Area moves are essential to gameplay, you don't want to be fighting on the floor all game. Special attacks are where we need to start being vague. All special attacks are different, but some share similar properties. Up special is your typical recovery move. No character has an up special that does not help them get back to stage. Then there's neutral special. Side special and down special. None of these moves have a pattern between characters, so try to learn them all. The parry button does a bit more than parry. Of course, standing still and pressing the button will do a parry, stopping damage from an attack and letting you punish. But holding left or right then pressing parry will do a roll. This gives a small amount of invincibility and travels a distance, but it's readable. Pressing the parry button while in the air causes an air dodge. This can give you a boost in a direction or just keep you where you are. Either way you gain a small period of invincibility. You can also use air dodge to wave dash, but we'll cover that in a different video. The final button is jump. Nothing really needs to be said here. Press the button to jump. Press it in the air for a second jump. The only fancy things are Rastus multiple jumps, Absus double jump properties and Aliana's hover. But those aren't important right now. The most important part of a fighting game is the characters. There are 14 different characters in Rivals of Ether as of now, with no more plan for a release, so it's important to know what everyone brings to the table. Claren has a tipper which functions similar to Marth from Super Smash Bros, but this one deals a lot more hits than. She also has a grab as her neutral special. Forspin has the ability to hide in smoke and create a clone. This opens up a lot of opportunities for deceptive gameplay. Celeborn can set people on fire. This deals damage over time and powers up his smash attacks by a huge amount. Rast has multiple jumps in the air and can only activate his smash attacks while airborne. Absa has a cloud that she can use with almost all of her specials, as well as a unique double jump that can be cancelled at the start if you use an attack without holding jump. Eliana has a lot of projectiles as well as a steam gauge, which changes her smash attacks when full and also allows her to hover for a double jump. Sylvanas has a flower which changes its end lag. Certain moves and allows him to recover easier, as well as being to recover from almost anywhere. Maple has a tether to help her terrible recovery and a plant called Lily to set up traps or continue combos. Crack has... not much really. He has a pillar for his up special which acts as a platform anyone can use, as well as a projectile. Ori is staying with him at all times. Being next to him will power up your smash attacks and you can use him to combo. Shovel Knight has a money mechanic. Hitting the opponent will cause money to spill. You can pick this money up and use taunt to open the shop. Items give you a new neutral special or a new passive. Arcane has one of the worst recoveries in the game but can recover from literally anywhere with his puddle, which also makes his smash attacks larger. Atlas has ice which helps him move around, gives him armor and can trap the opponent in an ice block. He also has his up air. Finally, Rhino. He has a poison mechanic which deals 1% every time your opponent uses a move, as well as a tongue to sling himself with. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video of Rivals Basics. If you liked the video please consider to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. If you have any feedback as to what we can do better please leave it in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next week.
Bye.